in this video we will be going to uh, discuss this ac analysis problem so this is a problem where series rlc circuit is there and we have to find some circuit parameters so what is the question is saying so it's saying there is a 240 volt supply is there and a 50 hertz frequency is there and it is supplied to a what to a coil which has a 0 0.08 energy of inductance and 4 ohm of resistance and that is connected in series with a 8 microfarad capacitance so we have to find impedance circuit current phase angle between voltage and current power factor and the power consumed here so how do we find that so let us before finding let us understand what is the circuit is given it is giving there is a coil which has inductance as well as it has a resistance and it is connected to a series capacitance and it is fed to a ac supply for the ac supply the v voltage is given as 240 volt which is nothing but your rms value no phase difference is given and then the frequency is given as 50 hertz here okay now we have to find the values so here it is given 0 0.08 henry it is uh, 4 ohm resistance and a 8 8 microfarad capacitance so how do we find this so first thing is calculate the impedance so if we calculate the impedance z equals to written as r plus j x that is equals to r plus j whole into xl minus xc we have to find what is the value of xl and xc xl equals to omega into l that is equals to 2 pi into f into l so it can be calculated as 2 into 3.14 into frequency is given 50 into l value is given 0 0.08 so if i calculate this value will be coming as so 2 into 3.14 into 50 into 0.08 that is equals to 25.12 ohms and then your x is equals to 1 by omega c that is equals to 1 by 2 pi f into c so the substituting the values it is 1 by 2 into 3.14 into f is 50 into c is given as 8 microfarad so 8 into 10 power minus 6 so calculating this value it will give me 2 into 3.14 into 50 into 8 into 10 power minus 6 so this value is 398.08 ohm now if i find put the values here the z equals to r r value is here 4 ohms so that is 4 plus j into 25.12 minus 398.08 so that will be equals to so 25 minus 4 plus j 373.08 so it can be written in polar form so if we write that in polar form 4 plus sorry uh, answer is minus so this is minus so minus j 377 373 so it is 4 minus 373.08 i if i convert that so that is equals to 373.1 at angle minus 89.38 so remember that uh, your, your calculator should be in the degree mode not in the radian mode while doing these calculations so this is the value of what this is the value of z we got next is to find the circuit current so circuit current how to find that so i is equals to v divided by z so v is what v is vm sin omega t and the phase difference is zero here so my if i write in this format so this will be vm how much rms value is given 240 into root 2 into sin of omega t minus 0 degree because in question uh, no phase difference is given and z is how much 373.1 at angle minus 89.38 okay so again so here phase difference is 0 so it can be written as so let me just calculate into root 2 so that is 339.41 
at angle 0 degree you can write and divided by 373.1 minus 89.38 degrees okay so this one divided by 373.0.1 yeah point 0.1 at angle of minus 89.38 again we need to write this in polar form so if you write that the value is equals to 0 0.909 <coughs> at angle 89.38 so simply what the angle is how this angle is calculated so this is nothing but this angle minus this angle so 0 minus minus of 89.38 so you can directly write 89.38 degree is the angle okay so this is the current now so if i write the current equation so this current is in form of i m sin omega t minus phi or plus or minus phi whatever it is i can write this as 0 0.909 sin of omega t omega value is given you can represent as 2 pi f plus 89.38 degrees so this is my current value next what it is asking phase angle between voltage and current so phase angle between voltage and current is how much so phase angle will be how much phase angle is nothing but this one so actually phase angle is phase of the voltage minus phase of the current so phase of the voltage is 0 degree phase of the current is plus 89.38 so difference of that we need to find so that is equals to the difference is how much 89 89.38 okay voltage minus the current is taken it is minus 89.38 that is the phase angle next is power factor so power factor is the cosine angle between the voltage and current so cos of i take 89 degree 0.38 okay so cos of 89.38 So that is equals to 0 0.01 degree so this is the power factor here okay now what you need to find uh, next is the power consumed okay so what is the value of power consumed so power consumed is equals to v i cos phi okay so v this is the rms value is taken so v rms is given as 240 rms value of current we know this is the im value so rms is im by root 2 so into 0 0.909 divided by root 2 into cos phi you got 0 so this is not degree only 0 0.01 0 0.01 so that is that will be equals to 0 0.909 divided by root 2 into 240 into 0 0.01 so this is equals to 1.54 watts so this is the power consumed by the circuit so this is how you calculate a series rlc circuit if the value of resistance inductance and capacitance is given so we'll be discussing another video another problem in next video thank you